Let's talk about an artist that will use carcinogenic materials in her work. This is polyurethane. This is by Linda Benglis. I recently saw this in person and I was like, ew. And then I went home and learned more about her and I was like, oh, okay. So the colors that work that I saw was just not for me, but these are very interesting. Look at how fun that is. She really tried to blend painting and sculpture. This is her, such an icon. And this is a video of her in the 70s creating work with polyurethane. So she had to wear a gas mask because it was carcinogenic. For this sculpture, she did use polyurethane, but she's used wax, metal, latex, and foam in other sculptures. And this right here, there is chicken wire under it and then plastic, and she would directly pour the polyurethane over it and then wait for it to dry. Watching the pores is so beautiful. Here you can clearly see the chicken wire. It looks like chocolate sauce being poured over ice cream. Delicious. Walking up to this piece, I'm instantly like, ew, icky, but intrigued. And I'm so happy I looked more into her because these other works of her art are incredibly interesting and actually very beautiful. The shapes, the forms, 